Hey everybody and welcome to my little uh, but fast and effective uh, tutorial for uh, the problem of CPU messages uh, with Logic Pro. Um, the problem with this is when your uh, project is getting bigger, you start playing them, uh, your computer hits 100% CPU, it stops, you get an error message and you can start over again and it gets back. So what is the problem? You don't want to hit the 100% CPU message. What is the solution? Slow uh, Logic Pro down. It's like a dog on a without a leash. Eh? When the leash is off, it runs away. So put back the leash and give it some discipline. That's what we're going to do. So download the App Tamer. Go to Google, find it. You can download it everywhere. It's for free. Uh, close unwanted processes. And here we have our uh, program logic pro and now we put it off I think it's going to crash within 10 seconds there it is only two seconds that's uh, my new record but it's also because uh, QuickTime player is uh, recording my screen and that takes also a hell lot of CPU in combination with logic pro so what we're going to do we go here logic pro Slow it down. Get the leash on. Yeah, that's what you want. So for me, 51% is good. Then it, I, uh, it doesn't go all the way up to 100%. So I don't get any uh, error messages anymore. I just, I just can uh, uh, use every function. For me, I don't have any clue that it, it's running slower or anything because. Uh, when I'm not using the playback function, I never hit 50%. So when I'm editing everything, I never hit 50%. So it's it's still fast. Uh, but when it starts playing, it's go up to 100% and, and then boof off. So now it will go up to 100% uh, if you're using Logic. But it's not going to hit the 101% to trigger the message. So try it out for yourself. Download the app. It's free. Uh, let uh, give some comment down uh, if it works for you uh, uh, 